let's see. Amy Amos has been documenting life for years. I love taking pictures of my kids the most. <laughs> but never did she picture that she'd come across this document from a life long ago. Georgetown, Kentucky, May 30th, 1912. A handwritten letter hidden inside the stair banister whose top was knocked over by Amy's daughter, Rosie. I remember you came upstairs and you said, Mom, you have to come see what I did. It was an accident, I promise. An accident that sparked Mom's... Curiosity. <laughs> she just had to find out. You know, who knows what could be in there? Curiosity led to determination. Everybody else in the family gave up and walked away, and I thought, I'll keep trying. I'll have to get it. 45 minutes later... It was all the way down here. She got it. Well, Edna, I thought that I would write and tell you that I loved you. 12-year-old Aggie Lancaster writing 10-year-old Edna May. The paper has faded. It's hard to read right here. As some of Aggie's expressions. I don't like the way that you done me on the picnic, but I will excuse you. There's romance. Don't you let anybody see this. It is the lovingest letter I ever did write. And drama. I better not see him or I will beat him up for going with my girl. That sounds like a 12-year-old. But as Amy found out, there wasn't a fairy tale ending. It looks like they didn't actually get married. He married somebody else. She's curious as to why Edna hid the letter. It looks like she might have started to burn it, and then she thought, oh, maybe I should hide it. Even more curious to find out what else is hidden inside her house. It's hard not to want to tear off every banister post now and check and see. Covering the news in Scott County, Adam Yosem, LEX 18 News.